Just south of Depot Bay, Cape Foulweather rises 500 feet above the ocean, providing fantastic views of the central Oregon coast. Inhabited by indigenous people for thousands of years, it was called Cape Foulweather by Captain James Cook for the terrible weather conditions he encountered on his fateful voyage to the Northwest in 1778. With its soaring cliffs, seabird colonies, and rocky habitats, this basalt headland is a true gem of Oregon's natural beauty. Cape Foulweather boasts the largest kelp forest in Oregon north of Cape Argo, as well as Oregon's largest colony of pelagic cormorants, making the area a conservation priority. The Audubon Society of Lincoln City has submitted a community-based proposal to Oregon's Ocean Policy Advisory Council, OPAC, urging that the Cape Foulweather complex from Whale Cove south to the Otter Rock Marine Garden be designated a marine conservation area. This designation would balance public access and conservation in order for us all to enjoy this treasured piece of Oregon, now and for future generations to come. Rocky habitat is what makes Oregon's coastline unique. It comprises 41% of Oregon's 362-mile coastline and includes headlands, cliffs, rocky beaches, shallow intertidal zones, deeper submerged reefs, and offshore rocks. Do you have a favorite memory of exploring rocky habitat along the Oregon coast? Is it finding starfish while tide pooling with friends and family, fishing along the nearshore kelp forests that abound with sea life, expressing amazement at the monstrous storm waves that crash against the rocks and send up plumes of sea spray, or watching gray whales swim and spout just offshore. Cape Foulweather has some of Oregon's most outstanding rocky habitats, providing us with outdoor adventure and learning opportunities to treasure forever. Whether we are tide pooling, bird watching, fishing, or just enjoying the scenery, one of the goals of the Audubon's proposed marine conservation area is to provide learning opportunities about the natural history of the Cape's rocky habitats and how to enjoy them safely and responsibly. The thousands of pelagic cormorants that nest in Cape Foulweather's rocky cliffs feed on forage fish in nearshore waters as well as marine invertebrates found in the rocky intertidal habitat. The Cape is also home to breeding seabirds including Brant's cormorants, western and glaucous wing gulls, common mures, pigeon guillemots, and tufted puffins. If you drive the Otter Crest Loop at Cape Foulweather, you may spot black oyster catchers, surf birds, and black turnstones from roadside viewpoints. You may even be lucky enough to see a bald eagle chasing a western gull as it soars among the cliffs. The intertidal rocky habitat that extends from the mean high tide to the extreme low tide includes Oregon's famous tide pools that are home to an amazing variety of species well adapted to a demanding environment. Although pounded by waves and exposed to the air, many of the plants and animals living in this intertidal zone are very fragile. Submerged reefs and kelp forests extend the length of the Cape Foulweather complex. These kelp forests are the largest on the central and northern Oregon coast. They are critical to our local fishing economy by providing nurturing habitat for numerous fish species, playing a key role in maintaining biological diversity. Kelp forests at Cape Foulweather and elsewhere along the Oregon coast are at risk. Why? Because unchecked populations of purple sea urchins are devouring the kelp. Sea otters once flourished on the Oregon coast but disappeared long ago. Otters fed on sea urchins, helping to keep urchin populations in check. Just recently, the sea urchins lost another predator, the sunflower sea star. Beginning in 2013, a phenomenon known as sea star wasting disease, perhaps propelled by climate change and a warming ocean, wiped out sea star populations along the western Oregon coast. This has led to an explosion in the population of purple sea urchins. Kelp forests are rapidly disappearing due to this ecological imbalance. The continuing loss of Oregon's kelp forest is an important research concern that can be addressed by designating Cape Foulweather as a marine conservation area. As Oregonians, we treasure our coastline and are proud of its public ownership. Our state leaders did a great job of providing public access to the coast with the Oregon Beach Bill. But that bill does not protect the rich diversity of fish and wildlife habitat along our rocky shores. The lush tide pools, nearshore reefs, underwater kelp forests, and offshore rocks and islands. You can help us in our effort to protect Cape Foulweather's rocky habitats. The Ocean Advisory Policy Council is currently reviewing our proposal. Please take a moment and click the link below to support this effort. You can also visit the Audubon Society of Lincoln City's website to learn more. Finally, you can write a personal letter of support and email it to tsp.comments at state.or.us. Thank you. The next time you visit the scenic outlook at Cape Foulweather, 
Feel the wind in your face and breathe in the fresh ocean air. You'll know you took action to help preserve this special wild place for generations to come, while also providing new and exciting educational and community science opportunities for residents and visitors alike.